Jesus. We, we want to bless the name of Jesus the Lord for his name. grace. Point number three. And we want to thank the Lord for his presence, presence here tonight. Convincing freedom from Satan. We believe the Lord is here tonight. Begin I said, to I am Lord. free from Satan. Begin to bless the name Genesis, of the Lord. Genesis chapter 3 verse Begin 15. Begin to bless the name of Genesis. the Lord. Genesis. Begin to praise chapter the name of the 15. Lord. And I what a day we have. Enmity what a day we have. What a blessed day we have. What a glorious day it we have. What a mighty and day we have. Right from the Let's bless the name of, of the Lord. Let exalt the name of the Lord. Let glorify the name of the Lord. Let magnify the name of the Lord. For giving us this day. For giving us this day. For giving us this day. Because it's a special day. Because it's a glorious day. The day of God's visitation. The day of God's visitation. His Hallelujah! Is in Psalm already. 86, and you know it's something. Psalm 86, now, verse 8. Before, Among the God, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. The snake is chasing you. Neither and are you there any words like unto and thy words. Verse 9 says, All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship and worship before thee. O oh Lord, and thou shalt be glorified. I want you to pray that we are here to worship the Lord. We are here to worship the Lord. We are here to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. Bow down before him, love and adore him. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. Bow down before him, love and adore him. We have come to worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the presence of the Lord. Worship the Almighty God. Tonight He deserves our worship. He deserves our praise. He deserves our praise. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear of your voice. Let the world hear you are here. Let heavens hear we are here. Let the angels hear we are here. Let the heavens hear we are here. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let us exalt the name of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today the men will rejoice. Today the women will rejoice. Today the ministers will rejoice. Today the young will rejoice. Today the old will rejoice. And today heavens will rejoice. Tonight Ghana will rejoice. Africa will rejoice. I'm telling you, the whole world will rejoice. There's going to be joy in heaven. There's going to be joy on earth. There's going to be joy in the country. There's going to be joy everywhere. A pandemonium of joy. A pandemonium of joy. A tender of joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying to thank God for the journey messages. Journey messages from all the people who are here. And those who are on their way coming. We want to thank God for the arrival of our general superintendent. We want to thank God 
for the arrival of all the people coming from other countries here. We want to thank God for the preparation for this GCK. We want to thank God for all the preparation that have gone on. We want to thank God for the, for the commitment of the brethren. We want to thank God for the cooperation and the partnership of all the churches in Ghana. We want to thank God for the men of God. We want to thank God for the women of God. We want to thank God for all the deeper life churches in the country. And all the communicable bodies in the country. It has been a wonderful time. It has been a wonderful time. And that is why we want to bless the Lord. And that is why we want to bless the Lord. That is why we are praising the Lord. That is why we are exalting his name. That is why we are exalting his name. That is why we are blessing him. We want to thank the Lord for his promise. We want to thank the Lord for his promise. He said, this day have I begotten you. This day have I begotten you. That is the promise of the Lord. The promise of the Lord says, fear thou not. For I am with you. We want to thank God for his promise. The promise of the Lord is those who come to him, he will save them. And that is why we want to thank the Lord. Because tonight there will be salvation here. The promises of the Lord will be here and amen here tonight. As you are praying, the promises of the Lord are coming to pass. The promises of the Lord. We want to thank God for his power. We want to thank God for his power. His omnipotent power. His glorious power. His mighty power. His wonderful power. We want to thank God for his power. The power of God to save. The power of God to deliver. The power of God to set free. The power of God to elevate. The power of God to do wonders. Brethren, tonight let me hear your loudest prayers. Let's thank God for his power. Let's thank God for his power. I can tell you, there is no limit of God's power. When at the Red Sea, there is no limit of, uh, to God's power. Let's thank God for his power. Let's thank God for his goodness. Let's thank God for his goodness. Oh, God is good all the time. God is good all the time. He's good to me. He's good to you. He's good to the church. He's good to the churches. He's good to Ghana. He's good to Africa. God is good to the world. Oh, what a mighty God we have. What a glorious God we have. What a powerful God we have. What a blessed Lord we have. Let's thank the Lord for his mercies and his love. For God so loved the world. Let's thank God for his love for us. It is as a result of God's love. That is why we are here. 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 We bless God for his love. And we thank God for his greatness. The greatness of God. The greatness of God. The greatness of God transcends all the greatness of mankind. God is great. God is great. And that is why we are here. And that is why we are here. And all these days we're going to spend here. The greatness of God will be manifested here. Will be manifested here. Let's thank God for his grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Another one. In Jesus' name we pray. Another GCK. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray a certain kind of prayers now. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray? That the Spirit of God will descend here. I said the Spirit of God will descend here. That the Holy Spirit promised by Jesus will descend here once again. Open your mouth and begin to pray. As the Spirit of the living God saturate this place. 
saturate this place. Saturate this place. On my right. On my right. On my left. At the back. At the front. In the middle. 360 degrees. All over the place. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Come and take over this place. Come and take over this place. Let me hear you pray. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wherever you are, on the television there, if you are watching a television anywhere, if you are on social media, this is the time to pray. Pray down the spirit of God. Pray down the spirit of God. Over here at the Alpha location. Over here at the Alpha location. The spirit of God will be mighty here. Over there where you are. Over there where you are. In your church where you are. In your house where you are. By your television there. By your radio there. On social media there. Spirit of the living God. 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 Come upon your people. Come and take over the program. From today till Tuesday. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. From today. From tonight. Up to Tuesday. A sight to behold. Wonderful things to behold. Because of the presence of the spirit of God. Because of the presence of the Spirit of God. Let's pray down the Spirit. Holy Ghost, come down once again. Spirit of the living God, come down once again. And take over the whole program. And take over the whole program. And take over the whole program. We are praying for unprecedented conversions. Unprecedented conversions. All over Africa. All over the world. Unprecedented conversion. Anybody, anywhere. Anybody, any country. Anybody, any city. Anybody, any town. Anybody, any village. Those on the street. Wherever they are. Just like the time of old. And the program is going on here. The spirit of God will be hitting them. The spirit of God will be converting them. Conversions on the streets. Conversions in the vehicles. Conversions everywhere. Conversions in the churches. Conversions in the nations. Conversions in the countries. Even now the work of the work of God is going on. There will be unprecedented conversions. The word is unprecedented conversions. Conversions we have never seen before. Conversions we have never heard before. That is what is going to take place. Right here, this, this GC conversion. Unprecedented conversion. Men and women will turn to the Lord. I say men and women will turn to the Lord. Children will turn to the Lord. The young will turn to the Lord. The old will turn to the Lord. The low will turn to the Lord. The high place will turn to the Lord. Churches will turn to the Lord. Men will turn to the Lord. Women will turn to the Lord. Unprecedented conversions. Unprecedented conversions. And on this ground, unprecedented conversions. And we are praying that unprecedented deliverances and healing. Unprecedented deliverance. Unprecedented deliverance will begin to happen right here. And everywhere, wherever the word of God will go, we will hear it. We will see it. It will happen. It will happen. I said it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. This is our day. This is our time. This is our day. This is our time. It must not pass us by. It must not pass us by. It must not pass us by. This is our time. This is our day. It must not pass us by. It must not pass us by. Unprecedented healing. Unprecedented deliverances. That is what we're going to see. 
unprecedented power. Unprecedented demonstration of God's power. I want us to pray that this version of GCK, we will see, we will experience unprecedented demonstration of God's mighty power. Unprecedented demonstration of God's mighty power. Even here, where you are, on the television there, online, everywhere in this nation, outside this nation, everywhere in the world, unprecedented, unprecedented. And if you can hear me far away, and even if you are in your house, and you can see me, and you can hear us, this is the time to run here. This is the time to run here. Because what is happening here, it is a sight to behold. It is a sight to behold. It is a sight to behold. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delighted, I have put my spirit upon him. Let somebody say amen. amen. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. And so we are going to pray for the man of God. Everybody say the man of God. The man of God. We are going to pray for the man of God. The Lord has promised here already. Behold my servant, whom I, I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. And we are praying tonight for the general superintendent. And we are praying tonight for the convener of GCK. And we are praying tonight for Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui that the spirit of the, of the almighty God will rest upon him. Will rest upon him. Let me hear your loudest prayer. Let me hear your loudest prayer. Let me hear your loudest prayer. The Lord pour your power more than ever, more than before. Put your spirit in him. Put your spirit in him. Use him. Use him. Use him. Use him. Over here, use him. At the minister's conference, use him. At the Impact Academy, use him. Today, Thursday, use him. Friday, use him. Saturday, use him. Sunday, use him. Monday, use him. Tuesday, use him. And by the time we leave here, oh, wonderful. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for our, our father. Let's pray for our father that the hand of the Lord will be upon him. The hand of the Lord will be upon him. The spirit of the Lord will be mighty upon him. And the Lord will use him in a way we have never seen before. The strength of the Lord will be upon him. All the graces of God will envelop him. And the spirit of the living God will envelop him. The Lord will use our Father in the Lord beyond expectation. The spirit of the Lord will be mighty upon him. His words, his preaching, his prayers will be full of power. 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 And it will start tonight. 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 It will start tonight. That Lord use him. More strength. More power. More grace. More anointing. More anointing. More demonstration of the gifts of the Spirit. And tonight, beyond expectation, the Lord will use him. 
the Lord will use him. The Lord will use him. In the name of Jesus. You are here with high level of expectation. And I believe tonight, your expectation will never be aborted. I say your expectation will never be aborted. Your expectations will be met. Your expectations will be met. And if you are watching us on social media, and you are listening on the radio, and you are, you are watching television anywhere, and you are in any country in the world, you are in Africa everywhere, and you are in Ghana here, listen here, listen to us here, your expectations will be met. Your expectations will be met. I want us to pray that all attendees of GCK Ghana version, every, everybody's expectations will be met. I want you to raise your voices on high and say, Lord, the expectations of the men, the expectations of the women, the expectations of the young, the expectations of the old, our expectations will be met. Our Father and the Lord told us at the media launch, no, at the media briefing, that all the 400 years that were passed before the coming of Jesus, the people were expectant. The economic area, they were expectant. In their social life, they were expecting something. In their religious life, they were expecting something. In their physical life, they were expecting something. And here we are tonight, GCK, GCK, Ghana version, all the expectations of our life. The Lord will meet our expectations. The Spirit of the Lord will meet our expectations. The Lord will meet our expectations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your loudest, amen. Your loudest, amen. Hallelujah. Now, finally, you are here. There's something you want the Lord to do for you. There is something you want the Lord to do for you. Let's pray that what you, what is on your heart, what you want God to do for you, it will be done as you expect. It will be done as you expect. Let's begin to pray. Say, Lord, I'm here for something. I brought somebody here for something. I told the people in the country that something is going to happen. When we were publicizing, we said there will be, there will be supernatural conversions. We said there will be supernatural healings. We said there will be supernatural deliverances. We said there will be manifestation of God's power to save, to deliver, to heal, and to set free. And so the hour has come. Let's say, Lord, the hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. Lord, the hour has come. Let it be so. Let it be so. As thou hast promised. As thou hast promised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we bless your name tonight. We worship you this evening. You are a mighty God. You are a wonderful Father. You are a glorious Father. You can do all things. That is why we are here. You have sent us to the world. And that is why we are here. You have given us your promises. And that is why we are here. You have given us your son. Our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why we are here. And you have given us the Holy Spirit. And that is why we are here. Oh Lord tonight. Oh Lord tonight. As you have promised. As you have promised. Let it be so. 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 Let the nation rejoice. Let your people rejoice. Let Ghana rejoice. Let Africa rejoice. Let the whole world rejoice. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we pray for our Father in the Lord. As he sits here tonight. As he stands here tonight. As he ministers here tonight. Your power. Your power. Your anointing. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. Mighty upon his, his life. Mighty upon his life. In the name of Jesus. 
Holy Spirit divine take control over the whole program and all the people who are going to minister the choristers and all the ministrations going on here today the Spirit of God will take over and a kind of revival that we have never seen before let it start from here let it start from here and let it go everywhere thank you Lord we bless you Lord we praise you Lord we honor you Lord in Jesus name we pray I said in Jesus name we pray another Jesus seeker amen amen God bless you Happy to be here. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to hear everybody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are coming to worship God and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want you to connect your spirit and the Lord will bless you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we be on our feet humbly as we enter into the throne of worship. Just begin to think about the things of God and say something to him. Praise thy name, O oh Lord. Join me singing. We, we praise, praise thy name, O oh Lord. I want you to lift up your voice and we sing. Pray. soul lead rock I stand all over the ground is sinking sand all over the ground is sinking on pride the soul 
Bless my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me and made me whole. Oh, He touched me. He touched me. Let's clap. 
I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made. I will enter. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I would say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. 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 I want to hear you sing it. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessed in the morning, I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Sing, I am blessed. I am blessed in the morning. Blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. the blood. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood. Join us, oh. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. 
there is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. The blood is here today. In the blood. The blood will touch you. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Oh, in the blood. Father, we thank you for this great gathering. We know that you are here in our midst. And today we will rejoice before you in Jesus' name. Globally, let the joy of the Lord fill the heart of all those that are connected to this program. Do your wonders in all over the world, in all the nations connected in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You take your program sheet. We are singing Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. The hour I first believed. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I've already come. This grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we've been here, 10,000 years, bright, shining as the sun, with no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began.
praise the Lord. I welcome you to this first night of GCK April edition titled Glorious Visitation from Christ. I believe God. Every one of us will be visited from the Alpha location and all over the world. We want to spend a brief moment to pray. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we praise your name for this GCK April edition here in Akara, Ghana. And I'm believing you, Lord, all over the world, in every location, that your mighty power will visit us and every participant will have a testimony. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. Everybody say, global amen. In Psalm 106, he said, Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and for his mercy endure it forever. This first time we want to begin our prayer section with praises to God, giving him thanks for what he did in the past previous global crusades. The miracles, the healing, the deliverance, the signs and wonders. Let us Please lift up your voice and let us worship the name of the Lord. Let's praise him for the marvelous things he did in the immediate past GCK and other GCKs. A lot of testimonies came in from all over the world. Let's praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us lift up our voice. And praise the Lord for the man of God, the GCK convener, the convener of GCK, for the vision of GCK and how God is using him. Let us praise God for his life, for the grace of God upon his life. Shall we all please lift up your voice and let us pray. Praise the Lord for his life. Praise the Lord for divine strength. Praise the Lord for the grace of God upon him. In Jesus' name we pray. In the same veil, we want to praise God for our mother in the Lord. God has been using her to support our father in the Lord. Let us praise God for her life, for her strength. Let's worship the Lord for great things he's doing through her too. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to bring this GCK into God's hand. In Joel chapter 2, verse 22 said, The Lord will do great things. The Lord will do great things. Therefore, we're going to pray for great manifestation of God's power, God's mercy, that by the mighty power of God, Great things will take place here in Alpha location and all over the world. Open your mouth and pray. In Asia, in Europe, in Africa, all over, wherever we are connected, that God will do great things. Open your mouth in prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to pray. According to Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, it says, the latter part of it said, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? There is nothing too hard for the Lord. We want to pray at this GCK, impossibilities will be made possible. Here in Alpha location, all over the world, wherever you are connected, those on satellite, and those on social media, let us pray that God will turn all impossibilities to possibility. Open your mouth and let us pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let me hear a global amen. Shout amen. In Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25, he said, a phrase from there said, the captivity of the mighty shall be delivered. 
a lot of people that are in captivity, either to drug, young people and old people as well, either to drug, to evil habit, to demon and all. Let us pray that God's power will break all those captive iron gates and release them from captivity. Open your mouth and pray. Anyone that are on drug, anyone that have been held captive in evil, that God Almighty will release them from the prison yard, from the captivity. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. He said we should pray and he will answer. In Jesus' name we pray. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19 said, Behold, I will do a new thing. A new thing. Let us pray that God will manifest his power to do a new thing in the life of all participants. And that God will draw souls into his kingdom through this particular GCK. Please open your mouth, raise your voice, let us pray. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, do a new thing. Do a new thing in the Alpha location. Do a new thing all over the world. Do a new thing in Asia. Do a new thing in America. Do a new thing in Canada. Do a new thing in Austria. Do a new thing in India. Do a new thing in everywhere. Afghanistan, all over. Do something new. In Jesus' name, we pray. In John chapter 14, verse 27 say. My peace I give unto you. We're going to pray for the peace, that there will be peace in Ghana, peace in Africa, peace all over the world, so that there will be nothing that will hinder or impede the success of GCK. Let's open our mouth and pray for the peace all over the world. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Isaiah chapter 45, from verse 1 and 2, he said unto Silas, my servant, now the man of God, whose right hand I now hold to subdue kingdom. Want to pray for the GS, want to pray for the convener of GCK, for greater anointing, power, unction, that God will give him all trans, that as he open his mouth to declare the word of God, the word will come with fire, with authority, with anointing. Pray for the man of God. Pray for power. Pray for unction. Pray for anointing. Pray for the mighty power of God upon his life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty God in heaven, we magnify your name. We thank you for this brief period that we have to call upon you. Father, I pray that this April GCK, as we are beginning tonight, will be something extraordinary. Do something great and touch many people. Save sinners. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. Set free the captives. Anoint your servant. Possess him and use him to do great and mighty things and to draw souls into, you know, give him more trust, give him anointing, give him the power. Oh, Lord, all other ministers from other churches that are participating, Lord, I pray that your grace will descend upon everyone. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Say a bigger amen. Please, you can have your seat as we go into uh, these announcements. We thank the Lord that the long-awaited GCK is here with us tonight. We also thank the Lord. The Lord has brought the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, the convener. We cannot stand here to assure you 
it will be will be short of words of what the Lord is going to do in this great, 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 great program. Just to remind you, every 26 to 30, that is 17 years now, the covenant pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi was in this same place to hold the Great Transformation Crusade, African Wide Crusade. And by the grace of God, today is not only Africa, it is global crusade. And we believe the Lord who helped him to really bring down the miracles of God at that time to the people of Ghana. That same God is here and the rest of Africa to bring blessings down upon the Alpha location and all the locations all over the world. The crusade is starting tonight and it will continue tomorrow evening till Tuesday evening. Every evening for the six days, the crusade starts at 4 p.m. Please, if you are holding a program and it is 5.30, we, we will bring you the correct one. It's 4 p.m. The crusade starts every evening at this place. Tomorrow morning, by the grace of God, 6 a.m. at Royal House Chapel at Kaneshi, there's going to be ministers, church workers, and professionals conference. Ministers and all those who work in the church, whether usher or uh, security, whatever work we are doing in your church, you are invited to that program. And when we talk of professionals, we are also talking about people, businessmen, lawyers, doctors, and all professionals. You are invited to the program. <laughs> Then on Saturday, by the grace of God, in the morning, at 6 o'clock, all the youth are going to have a program titled Youth Impact. It was changed to Accra Sports Stadium, but as I'm talking now, information reaches show that it will take place at this same place where we are sitting. So we want all the youth in the nation to ensure that they are present. And also all the other parts of the world, the youth to run to receive from the Lord, and yeah. the Lord is going to bless the youth. So, as we have been enjoying, is the young adults, the graduates, young adults are also included, not just the youth. So, we want you to take note and get your heart ready. By the grace of God, right from beginning of the program tonight till the time the Lord will bring the program to the end, nobody will remain the same.
And all those who are listening to the announcement, remember, if you are not able to come to the Alpha location and also to your church location, wherever you are, the program can be connected in all the social media handles. And by the grace of God, about 150 nations of the world, everybody can be connected to the program to receive blessings from the Lord. We want to encourage you that every time you are coming here, be connected to God, be prayerful, and you will never miss your blessing in this program in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has prepared his minister and is going to use him more than ever for everybody to be touched of the Lord in Jesus' name. At this time, you will listen to choir ministration from the nations. Our hearts yearn for the sound of heavenly music, for the songs of freedom and the songs of deliverance. There are songs that ring from the courts of Zion and the presence of our great King Jesus. Those songs come to us today from the sanctified lips and the pure melodies of psalmists from the nations, men and women who love God deeply and yearn for his presence daily. So on this first day of his wonderful and wonder-filled crusade, let's join with the saints and lift our hands in praise to our great King Jesus as we listen to choir songs from states and regions and nations across the globe. At this global crusade with Pastor Kumui, we'll see miracles our mind can't comprehend. For the wonder-working power of God is here. Jesus is Scripture says in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. We've seen cancer disappear, we've seen broken bodies healed. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. We've seen families reunited, we've seen prodigals return. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me he can't do it. We'll see cities in revival, salvation for the streets. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. We'll see glory fill the nations like the world has never seen. 
you will listen to some few testimonies. I'm an ophthalmology senior specialist with the Ghana Health Service and a senior lecturer with the medical school, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. We have Pastor Stephen Donko of Kumasi, 62 years old. Pastor Donko has been having what we call refractive error. This is a deficiency in the optical system of the eye, such that he's either not able to see things that are close or things that are too far from him. And he suffered this for the past 32 years. But according to Mr. Donko, in 2021, during one of the GCK programs, he believed in the Lord and he received his healing from this problem. And since January 2022, he has thrown away his glasses, which he was wearing for this problem. So we listen to Mr. Donko as he, give, as he gives his testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Stephen Donko. I'm from Kumasi, 62 years of age. By God's grace, I'm here this evening to testify to the glory of God. As Dr. Amwa said, I've been wearing glasses for 32 years. Without it, I cannot read, I cannot drive, I cannot see afar. But one of the um, GCK programs in 2021, one of the middle ones, our Father in the Lord said, wherever we want to receive your healing or your miracle, you have to place your hand on that place. And I did that. And uh, I believe that very day, the Lord healed me, but I didn't know. I was still wearing the glasses. So it became uncomfortable for me to use it. Then something said I should go and change the glasses. So I went to my brother's clinic, and uh, after the examination, he said, no, we can't give you any other lens than the one you are using. I said, wow, but I was not feeling comfortable anytime I use it to read or to drive or to do any other thing. Then one in December 2020, I was swearing it, in December 2021, I went to Bible studies and on the way, I couldn't see. So I told my wife that I can't see anymore. Then something freaked me to take off the glasses and I did that. And uh, I told her, now I can see. But I was still wearing it. Then uh, after the watch night, I went home and I kept the lens on the bed. And I sat on it and it got broken. So that time the Lord told me you were healed when Pastor Kumi prayed for you. And since January 2022 up to today, that's one year, four months. I'm able to drive without the lens. I'm able to read my Bible. Small, uh, the, the small size, I'm able to read now. So I say this one to the glory of God. And tonight, if you are here and you believe God, the good God who healed me, we also do your miracle for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 